guys, it's Wendy, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my intros. So I hope you guys enjoy, and let's go ahead and get right into it. So here I'm just showing you guys the apps I use, but I today we're going to be using Vaunt and Vimo only. So the two apps that are free are Vaunt and Vimo, but you can obviously purchase some stuff inside. And Title Master and Video Hands are um, paid apps. So you're going to start off by opening Vaunt and you want to upload whatever video you want or picture. I chose a video that I um, previously got. And if you guys haven't watched my other video that I posted recently, which was the how to get videos for your intros, this is where I got this video from. So go ahead and check that out after this video. Um, but I basically just chose a video and then I added some text by tapping on the video on there. Then I went ahead at the bottom and then centered it. I always like centering most of the text I have on there. And I like to resize it. And then I like to go where it says none at the bottom left hand corner. And I like to add some motion in the text so the way it's going to move. And here I like it because it gives you some options of how you want the text to move around. And at the bottom you can choose when you want it to start with the little thing at the bottom, the red thing, the bar, you just move it around. You can choose when you want to start it and when you want to end it. So when the text is going to come in and come out. So it's pretty cool. Just like mess around with it. I don't really want to go into detail of how this app works. But that's what I usually do is just I move it around and um, see where I want the text to go and when I want it to stop. And then you can go ahead and play it just like I did right here and see if that's how you like it. And if you don't like it, you can go ahead and change it and go back and edit. And here I'm just adding another text um, and I'm going to choose it to come after the Wend MV, whatever I wrote. Um, I'm going to add it and I'm going to add some motion too and I'm going to resize it. You can go ahead and add more text and you can add motion to that text again. And again, you can like how I'm showing you here. And then you can choose when you want it to end and when you want it to start. So I chose mine to come after the Wendem V, whatever. And um, then I played it back to see if that's how I wanted it. Then you want to go ahead and save it and you want to save it to the max. So you export it and then it's going to save it to your camera roll. And then you want to go ahead and we're going to go to my favorite app, which is Vimo. And this app, it gives you a lot of cool things. You can put text on your video. You can add um different designs it's really cool i recommend it and if you guys don't want to buy the full version you guys should probably just buy uh, some of them that's what i did i didn't buy the whole thing so you want to go ahead and put start and then you want to tap on video and then it's going to give you some options at the bottom they are layout theme and music it has some music, it has some themes, which are pretty cool. I mean, if you don't have a background like mine, I'm not going to put any themes or music because I already have that. And um, you can go ahead and add some themes if you guys just have a plain picture. Um, I feel like if you already have a video, you shouldn't add a lot of themes in the background. Um, just keep it simple. So, yeah. And then it gives you these options. And if you don't want something, you can just tap on the image twice and then it takes it off. So once you're done with that, you can tap on the arrow and then go to the next step. And this step is the fun part where you get to add anything and you can move it around and whatever you want to do to it. So by adding on the plus sign, you have these options of adding a lot of like emoji, stickers, um, text, stuff like that. And you have the option to make it big or small and you can move it around. So I just added these little stars, which I know it's like horrible combination because you can't really see it there's like too much going on in the background but I just wanted to show you guys what this app does so you guys get an idea of if you guys want to make a video intro or a photo intro so I feel like it's kind of more interesting if you have a video intro instead of just a picture intro but I mean it's up to you um whatever your likes are whatever you guys have in mind and if you guys don't want an something you can tap on the image down below where I was pointing at previously and then just tap on the trash can and you can delete it at the bottom it you can scale it and like see where you want to start and end so you guys can go ahead and check that out and mess around with Vimo um, again if you have any questions you can comment below and I can help you and here I just added some text and I wanted it to the side I know it looks bad but I'm just showing you guys a demo on how to do this and down at the bottom you can change the color or the on the T, if you tap on the T, you can change the text and the trash can. Again, you can delete it. And on the painting palette thing, you can change the color. So it's pretty cool. At the bottom, there's like a little bar. And that bar, you can resize it. And that's when it... Okay, so the one on the right is the one that um, 
that's where the thing the whatever you added is going to end and the one on the left is the one that is going to tell you when it's going to start and to move your text all you do is you tap on the little finger or hand um button thing and it shows you here like a little preview of how you can do it bottom it shows you how many seconds if you want it to go slow or fast and so you move it the direction um you want it to move and how you want it to move and then you can go ahead and play it to see if that's how you like it And you can go ahead and add more things throughout your video. You just have to either resize it or move it around. And again, at the bottom with the little scale thing, you want to make sure you have it, your end and your start point. So here, the last thing I'm going to show you is like the result of my video and how I ended up doing the, the doodles and the text. So after you're done, you want to go ahead and tie. I think there's an arrow in there and you want to go ahead and tap on the next step and you, what you want to do is click on the play button and play it back again because Vimeo tends to change and move around the things that you put on your video and it happened it's happened to me several times I don't know why it just like Vimeo changes it and makes it look weird so go ahead preview your video like once or twice to see if any of the text moved around and to see if it's where you want it to look and if it's okay then go ahead and save it. One thing that I recommend if you guys want to buy something from this app is I would at least recommend you to buy the thing where it says to take off the watermark because then people are going to see that you made that edit with Vimo and it's going to look not so great so I recommend just buying at least the to take off the watermark. Now the last step is just you know putting it on any editing software or app on your phone so the things I use are either QCup Pro the full version or iMovie and if you and that I, I didn't buy QCup Pro the full version I actually got it for free from somewhere else the full version so yeah and if you guys have any questions on how I got that or suggestions if I should make a video on how to get free apps let me know in the comments below and you guys are probably like Wendy's a hacker no I'm not I just do a lot of research and I have my ways, just saying. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. Hope this video helped and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.